I've got a big hug against oil too. I think it's fake. But isn't that oil? And isn't it on fire? Or something? I can often hold a standard kitchen match to my water and like I said it is unpredictable but the methane randomly travels with the water and sometimes it will light quite spectacularly. Just like that. Oh, yeah, I saw it go up for a second. Yeah. We'll just give it a second here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's the best I've got. <laughs> Maybe get the other one in the spot. Unbelievable! A river on fire! <laughs> Don't let it burn the boat! It <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Methane coming up and now the river is alight. Unbelievable! The most incredible thing I've seen. A tragedy in the Murray-Darling Basin. This is the future of Australia. If we do not stop the frackers who want to spread across all states and territories and do this, to your community, to your environment. This is utterly unacceptable. It's been brought to you by Labor, Liberal and National parties who back the dirty frackers. Only the Greens think this is bloody crazy. When searching for video and images of oil gushing out of the ground, it's hard to distinguish if this is just dirty water and methane, or really what is claimed to be petroleum. Older black and white photos deceptively give a false impression of what may in fact be just water. Somebody is having a bad day at work, but that's just muddy water and not the dark black crew that appears in oil spills. Aaron Dover is an expert at penetrating and dismantling corporate psyops. Before Aaron's tragic death, he recorded a series of broadcasts informing viewers of the dubious origins and secret workings of the so-called oil industry. The word schlum, and you combine it with the word for like a mountain or hill, burger, 
right? Or maybe mm. town. It's either, basically, it's either Jizz Town or Jizz Mountain is what Schlumberger translates to if you take it from German back to English. Um, so, but I don't know if that's got anything to... The fact that it's called Jizz Mountain shouldn't put you off um, because it is the world's foremost um, oil field services provider. So it provides services to the oil industry. Schlumberger. Schlumberger. <laughs> Jizz Mountain. One of the one of the most interesting things about no floors is the fact that all the is 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 that the World Trade Center was an electrical tower and all our electricity comes from these masts and yeah. crude oil doesn't exist. But Schlumberger have not let the non existence of crude oil get in the way of their business. Far from it. Them. Far from it. They've actually built themselves up to be um, a very enormous company and a very influential company in the oil industry. And when I worked in uh, these investment bank uh, places, Schlumber Schlumberger were held in very high regard. So if you ever talked about oil and stuff, they would mention Schlumberger as being like at the cutting edge of oil technology. Because if you think about oil, I mean, it's kind of this old, it's, it's like a... Crude oil is like this old, sticky, horrible stuff, right? So they've, but Schlumberger have made it into something new and shiny with like CGI imagery and graphs and all sorts of stuff. So it's, they've done a lot with oil. And um, if you look into the, I'm just going to tell you about their founder. So there was a guy who, basically there was a, there was a guy called, um, a guy called Schlumberger and he invented, so to give you an idea of the timeline, this is around the 1880s. This guy Schlumberger rocked up on the scene, right? I'm just going to look him up. Hang on one second. He's a very interesting character. His name, his name was Conrad Schlumberger. So, Conrad Jizz Mountain. Um, in okay, this guy, he came along in like 1870. Okay, so he was born in 1878, and that's almost exactly the same time that in uh, Blackpool they were doing the very first street lighting with Blackpool Tower providing the electricity, right? So this matches exactly with when they kicked off the whole story about uh, fossil fuel power plant stuff, right? They changed the gas lighting to electrical street lighting the same time they built Blackpool Tower. Exactly. And, and, and yeah, it, that's uh, just... Yet another phenomenal coincidence. We're in 1879, so they had the electric street lighting with the Blackpool Tower powering it secretly by atmospheric electricity. And at the very same time, they were kicking off this story about Conrad Schlumberger. So he, he I'm just going to read you a, a mini bio, biography of him. He grew up as part of a family, six children. His father was descended from a wealthy cotton weaving family. These backstories are really, really, always really stupid. It's like, how do you get wealthy from cotton weaving? What he meant is he's basically a slave driver or non-existent. Point is, about Conrad, is he did something amazing. So you know that crude oil is molten dinosaurs. But just think about this. If you, let's say that you had an inkling that there was loads of molten dinosaur underneath the land where you lived, around where you lived, okay? And you really wanted to get to it because you wanted to have some street lights. So you want to have some street lights. Again, the oil lamp story of ha the, you know, Hanukkah is all linked to the oil fraud. It's all, a, so I don't want to get into that. But you've got some kind of gas lamp thing, maybe, uh, right? And you're pissed off because, because you want electric lights, even though you don't know they exist, okay? But you just... You think, why can't we have fucking electric lights, even though they haven't been invented? Okay? And you think, well, the only way that I can get electric lights, even though they haven't been invented, is if I find some molten dinosaur that I might be able to pump out of the ground and burn to produce some electricity. The, so we've got Blackpool illuminations going on with the Illuminati running that stuff. And at the same time, we've got Schlumberger coming onto the scene. And at the same time, you got the invent. You got the dinosaur guy saying, "Oh, 
you know how I mentioned that there might be these old dinosaur things? Well, we found some bones now. So he immediately found some bones at the same time. So it's all at the same time, 1870, late, late 1870s. It's all, the, what I'm, that's exactly, it's all kicking off in concert at the same yes. point in time. The dinosaur story, the, uh, the, electric, li the electric lighting story, and the Schlumberger story. Now, the Schlumberger story is, is interesting because he was so ahead of his time. So he was wandering around with a gaslight thinking, if only I could find some molten dinosaur. Okay, and now he knew intuitively that he needed to find the molten dinosaur yeah. um, because he, um, t he just could, he maybe had a vision of a time when the molten dinosaur could be used to make a better type of light than his gaslight somehow. Okay, so he thought, well, he woke up from that, that vivid dream and he thought what's the best way to find molten dinosaur because I can't just go around drilling holes here there and everywhere I can't just yeah you know, I only own the land that I live on. I can't I can drill down there but what if I don't find any more molten dinosaur like how am I gonna drill in a way that's likely to find the molten dinosaur and so he thought why don't I come up with an amazing technology to discover even though no one's found any molten dinosaur yet I'm going to invent a thing that helps people locate the molten dinosaur so what Schlumberger did is he so he took an early this according to his biography he took an early interest in earth sciences and developed a particular interest in prospecting for metal ore okay so he's he's looking around for metal and he realized that he could he could um, he could find metal hidden in the ground because it has a different electrical conductive properties to the earth. So what he could do, he, he realised cleverly, is he could, if he could generate an electric field below the ground and measure the voltage at the surface and, and, and map that to show lines of equal potential called equipotential curves, then he could look at them and find the metal without drilling. So you understand, just think about what a leap forward this is. You've got a guy, there's no electricity, no one's invented even electric lights, but you've got a guy who's so ahead of his time that he's realized he can find metal underground just by checking the electrical potential at the surface, which is, I'm not sure what he would check it with. Like, I don't know if he would have a voltmeter in 1879 I don't know where that would come from that volt maybe someone sent a voltmeter back in time to Schlumberger and he then realized that he could use the voltmeter to test for equipotential lines at the surface and find ore metal ore underneath the surface with it but that even that level of genius wasn't enough for Schlumberger he decided to go further and not just detect ore of metal, but to detect oil. Now, the amazing thing about this is that oil isn't like metal and isn't like a massively good electrical conductor. And yet, despite that, he used the very same technique to find where oil was without drilling. So he, by, by, by develop, so he developed a way to find oil and to, he developed a way to find molten dinosaur reservoirs under the Earth's surface without knowing that he needed that molten dinosaur, without having electric lights invented, without having any need, without having any technology, he just invented a way to find it. So can you imagine how that changed everything? So without having to drill holes everywhere randomly, he would then be able to just wander to patches of land with his with his devices and tell people, yes, there's lots of molten dinosaur here, so it's worth investing in a drilling rig. And he yeah, went, exactly. And then and then he went on to fa so he founded this company that developed incredible technologies now um, to find the molten dinosaur and to do all sorts of things. It can do far more than that now. They can find so they're into fracking. So he could, like his company can tell you exactly how to optimize the amount of gas bubbles that come back when you when you pump the water into the ground to do the fracking. They're an amazing company. The list of things that Schlumberger can do for you never ends.